new videos every day. When was the last time that you set a goal for yourself? Are there things out there that you would like to accomplish? Do you have trouble accomplishing the things on a daily basis that you would like to accomplish? My name is Cesar Garcia, and I'd like to talk to you about goal setting. I am a 2004 Olympian, and I competed in the sport of platform diving. And so I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about how goal setting was a part of my experience as an Olympian, and just share a couple tips with you that I think may be helpful. So the subject of goal setting is a very rich topic, and there's so many aspects that are involved in actually setting a goal. But I want to stick to a, a few points today. The first one being setting realistic goals for yourself. Um, I hear a lot of my friends saying that, you know, I, I never achieved my goals. I, I knew I was going to you know, fail. And, and that's so typical. We, we set these huge goals for ourselves that sometimes we have no chance of achieving. But when you think about the steps that are involved in actually achieving that goal, there's many goals along the way that you can set for yourself that will actually help you in achieving that larger goal. But it's important to set those smaller ones first. Uh, losing weight, for example. You know, a lot of people set these huge weights of losing 100 pounds or 50 pounds, 30 pounds, whatever it is. Um, but it takes those smaller steps and those small decisions to help you get to whatever it is you, you know, your goal is. In my case, the goal of the Olympics was, was a goal for a long time, but there were several steps along the way. Maybe it was learning a new dive. Maybe it was uh, going to another smaller competition where I could qualify uh, for the Olympics. But uh, those small steps along the way are so crucial in, in helping you achieve your goals. And they actually make you feel better. They give you the practice of setting goals for yourself. And they make it more of a habit of achieving those smaller goals. So when the big goal comes, uh, you feel better about, about achieving that goal. The, the second topic that I would like to touch on is something that was actually introduced to me uh, by a sports psychologist when I was training for the Olympics. And it's the difference between an ego-centered goal and an outcome-centered goal. We are typically more familiar with ego-centered goals. They are goals, for instance, like I, I want to win this competition or I want to you know, place in the top three in this race. Uh, they're very easy to identify usually. And that's uh, when I hear people talking about their goals, they're usually ego-centered goals. And that's great, but there's a slight difference between an ego-centered goal and an outcome-centered goal. An outcome-centered goal is one in which you're more concerned about uh, how you feel about the outcome of a particular event. What, what is the reason behind you competing in this event? What, what is motivating you to do it? And a lot of times, an outcome-centered goal may sound something like, uh, you know, at the end of this uh, training session, I want to feel like I did my best uh, in that training session or I want to feel fulfilled. It's more about fulfillment, uh, personal fulfillment, rather than an ego-centered outcome where you're more concerned with, uh, with how something reflects on you. The next thing I would, uh, I would suggest is writing your goals down. This is something that I can't emphasize enough. Just putting it down on a small piece of paper and placing that piece of paper somewhere where you'll see it every day uh, is, it puts it into your daily habit. And that is something that, that is essential for you actually accomplishing your goals. If you just set a goal for yourself and you never come back to it, then, then really what's the point of setting a goal? If it's just something in your head, um, I mean, that's great, but, but it really doesn't hold you accountable for for what you're trying to do for yourself. It really, it's about what you're trying to do for yourself. So you wanna see this thing every day. You wanna, uh, for example, I put it, my goals in, in the mirror. When I woke up and, and would go brush my teeth, I would see this, this little writing in the mirror that was staring back at me. And uh, it reminded me that this is something that I wanted to accomplish. So I would recommend that uh, for everyone very, very much. Finally, I would like to encourage you to use visualization in your goal setting routine. Um, I actually have another video out about goal setting, so if you're more interested in the topic, you can check that out as well. But visualization is great because it's like mental practice. It's, uh, it's actually practicing your goals before they come up. You can uh, give yourself situations uh, 
that allow you to to be there and to experience the things that you want to happen before they take place and they make you more motivated actually to go out and accomplish those goals the more you can picture it in your head uh, the more motivation it gives you uh, to go out and experience those things that you have uh, goals that you've set for yourself and finally a visual visual image and uh, visualizing yourself accomplishing your goals can give you more confidence to go out there and accomplish your goals uh, in my case I used visualization extensively when I was training and I would attribute my visualization uh, to helping me accomplish the biggest goals uh, of my life so far so it's a great tool and I hope you're uh, able to use it well thanks for tuning into this video uh, if you don't mind uh, giving this video a thumbs up leaving some comments and subscribing to the channel we appreciate it thank you